Here are three predictions for the data analyst role in the next five years that you need to know. Keep watching till the end of this video so you don't miss out. I'm sharing these predictions based on my industry knowledge over the last 10 years and how I have seen the data science space evolve. These predictions are meant to help you grow in your career so you can keep learning and growing with the job family. So let's jump into it. Number one, eventually everyone will become a data analyst. No, I don't mean that everyone will transition to become a data analyst as a career. What I mean here is that data analyst skills such as basic data analysis will become essential for every job family that touches data. These job families include product managers, software engineers, and many more. Given the number of automated tools that are available in the market, we will continue to see that the data analysis skill set will become part of essential and possibly a requirement for every job family outside of data analytics. Here is a practical example that I can give you from my experience. Few years ago, data analysts and data scientists were critical roles when it came to designing an experiment, doing A-B testing, and so on. Today, most product managers are able to not only design, but at most cases, analyze the test and understand the results as well. So in these cases, data scientists and data analysts are only involved on non-typical use cases, where a product managers cannot leverage those automated tools and understand what is happening in the experiment. Now, at this point, you are probably saying that Sundas, the example that you gave uh, is for A-B testing, for experimentation. That is data scientist work. That is not data analyst work. Well, wait till you hear prediction number two. There is going to be more and more blurred lines between data scientists and data analysts. One of the key observations I have made over the years is that data analyst definition and data scientist definition varies company to company. But it also varies from country to country. This is an example. For a data analyst, knowing Python is not a required skill in the US yet. But if you pull up a job posting based in India, you will see that Python is a required skill set that a data analyst needs to know. Given that we are becoming a global economy, a global workforce, more outsourcing than ever before, we will continue to see the data analyst skill set evolve over time, whether that happens in 2024, 2025, or beyond. And especially with the advancement in AI, where a lot of the coding work is semi-automated, we are going to see that data analysts would eventually begin picking up some of the data scientist work and the lines between them will get more and more blurred. There is another role in the data analyst and data scientist ladder that is a hybrid. It's called the product analyst. If you haven't seen it yet, I recommend that you check it out. And especially in the age of AI where coding is semi-automated, we will continue to see the lines between a data analyst and data scientist being blurred. Now, before we talk about how AI will evolve data analytics and what my predictions are, I wanted to share this free ebook on how to use AI for data analysis, which teaches you how to work smart. The ebook is created by HubSpot, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's say you want to perform time series analysis and want to leverage AI for that, but you don't know what tools to use, where to get started, then this ebook might be a right fit for you. It not only walks you through data analysis project lifecycle, but also lists out specific AI tools that you can use for time series and forecasting. For example, did you know that Rapid Miner is an AI tool that is specifically built for time series forecasting? There are many other examples like this in the ebook. I'm linking the ebook in the description below. It is available to download for free. Now let's talk about prediction number three. Since the launch of ChatGPT a few years ago, Gen AI has now become a household name, whether you're talking about ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, and many other tools that are on the market. If you look more critically, you will notice that Gen AI products are typically targeting three use cases, coding, content writing, and data analysis. As of today, almost 90% of the general purpose Gen AI tools are targeting data analysis. And yes, it's not perfect, but it is heading in that direction. For example, ChatGPT, advanced analysis, Claude, data analysis. These are some of the popular tools that are you probably know. But did you know a tool such as RapidMiner that I shared earlier in the video or Pecan AI? Both of these tools, along with dozens of other tools on the market, are targeted toward data analysis. And yes, data analysis from these tools is not perfect. But is somebody sitting behind the computer figuring out how to make it perfect? Yes, 100%. And eventually we will get to a point where it will not be perfect, but it will be close to perfect. So what does it mean for you? Does this mean that AI will eventually be able to do data analysis on its own and data analyst job will not be needed? No. 
This means that using AI for data analysis will become an essential skill set. For example, we will see it in the job posting eventually. So these are the three predictions that I have for the data analyst role. So what does it mean for you? If you watch the video from start to now, you may have noticed a trend. Upskilling and advancing your skill is a theme. What we know today as Data Analyst Toolkit will continue to evolve, which means that you will have to continue upskilling and advancing your skill as a data analyst to stay up with the growth that we are seeing. As a data analyst, you will have to continue evolving your skill set, evolving your toolkit, so you can keep growing and advancing in your career. And right now might be a good time to start upskilling because if you're based in the US, only 35% of the US companies have adopted AI. So it's not very widely adopted yet. But eventually, would it be adopted? Maybe, because if you look at a region like India, it already has more than 50% adoption. So, all right, that's all I wanted to say. Do you have any predictions for the data analyst role in the next two years, three years, four years, or five years? Let me know in comments. And thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.